Hey, hey, you're with Easy Jeezy. Guess what? The 1800's back in the Baja. The 2110's back on the table. Now, what I'd like to do is see if I can get this center mount carb to work because I really like the space that it opens up here on the side. It's half as many spots for troubles. Now, some of the manifolds I've seen have a separate tube for each side. This uh, type of manifold and most of the ones I've looked at have a little connecting hole in the manifold and of course we all know if we're working on these things that the intake manifolds have a slot that opens it up equalizes it right where it attaches to the head so what I found on my t first test drive is that uh, it ran but it, it had the old typical stumbles with it and I found that with this setup on this engine and this cam it likes a little bit more timing uh, it still didn't seem like it was running full out the way it should and I felt a significant drop in power and performance and I realized that my throttle was not opening all and the way. I was using the full stroke of the stock gas pedal and cable. So what I've had to do, luckily, in my stuff, I had a shorter arm here which is going to change my geometry and hopefully give me more stroke. It's not quite vertical. It's not quite vertical, but it's a lot better than what it was. And I think what I'm going to do is uh, test it out here. When I get things all set up, we'll, we'll go for a full drive. Uh, I got a few other things I got to do this morning before I take off. Um, put some new fuel line on. Here's, uh, here's an exit clamp. You might say to yourself, what's that clamp doing there for? It's an extra clamp. That's an easy place to carry it. Rather than carrying it in my toolbox or in the trunk or some other place where I can lose it, this is where I'm going to use it, and here's a spare. And that's I think, is a good idea. Another little tip on those clamps. I really like the way that one fit on there. It's a size number four, and they are written on the clamp. And I was looking in the lawn and garden section, and they had these things in the bag. Way cheaper. Way cheaper. I think I paid like three bucks or something for ten of these. I can't remember exactly. Don't quote me on that. But if you go to the hardware store and buy them one at a time, they're a lot more expensive. Or an automotive store. So, just thought I'd let you know on that. And here's a... Here's another little handy thing. You ever see these uh, four-way screwdrivers? I'm not sure that everybody knows. You can you can flip them around, and they have the uh, uh, screwdriver on one side, Phillips on the other. Then they have the other side. Well, in addition to that, if you get if you're careful about what you buy, it's got a quarter-inch socket on one side and a five-sixteenths on the other, which works on the majority of these clamps. Just a, a handy way of having a multi-tool that you can use a lot and when I put together my tools for uh, my cars I like to have carry I don't have a lot of space so I like to have that versatility where it does more than one thing whenever possible also like these little tiny pocket sized crescent wrenches so anyhow I still have some things to do thought I'd uh, put this together show you uh, what's happening with the 1800 and the 2110 and why. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Easy, jeezy, out.